Hey everyone, Zach from MoveSkill.com. One of the questions we get asked a lot is when and how do we start pulling ourselves away from the wall or weaning ourselves off the wall to balance in a freestanding handstand? There's no real one answer to that question. There's a lot of different methods that work really well. One of the ones that we like is the single leg balance. Now this isn't going to be an actual freestanding handstand, but this is a method to working towards balancing in a handstand. So uh, a few things that we always require, and I know we talk about this a lot, Make sure that you have really good understanding of what proper body alignment is. Make sure that you're working on your chest to wall holds in the neighborhood of a minute and, and really controlling those. If you don't have those prerequisites, doing a drill like this isn't really going to serve you much benefit at all. If you have those benefits, by all means, this is a really good drill to start doing. Like most of the stuff that you do in the handstand, it's really hard to feel what you're actually doing upside down. So I recommend having uh, a friend look at you or having you uh, set up a video camera or your cell phone so you can see what's going on while you're inverted. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start by walking ourselves towards the wall in a chest wall handstand position, but you're gonna hold yourself a little bit further away than you might normally do. And this is gonna allow us some room to play around. Now what you're gonna need to do in the beginning is actually pike your hips so your feet are against the wall, but your hips are stacked over your shoulders and your hands. This piked position is really important. Now there's gonna be a tendency to wanna arch out your low back as you're in that uh, piked position. And you have to do everything that you possibly can not to do that piking motion. If you do, what's gonna happen when you start to pull your leg away is you're gonna fall off the wall. And that's not our goal. Once you're up in that position and you've found that nice hollowed position in your midline, you're piked against the wall, you're gonna pick one leg at a time to pull off the wall. Now what you're gonna do with that leg is find a vertical position, okay? Pulling your foot off, and the, the idea is not to come off the wall. The idea is that that supporting foot, that toe that's still left against the wall, starts to uh, supply less and less of a support for you. Don't be tempted to pull your feet away. Don't, don't do it. It's not going to help you at this point. What we're trying to work on is just feeling what a, an aligned position feels like one leg at a time. So pull that one leg out to a vertical position, point your toe towards the sky, squeeze your butt, squeeze your abs, get nice and active through the shoulders and hold it. Bring the other foot back and then do the same thing on the other side. Doing this drill is going to be really helpful. What we're going to work on is, is holds on either side. So you're going to hold one foot up, hold with the other foot up, and start to try and work on that. Again, you're not pulling yourself off the wall yet. You still wanna keep that toe in contact, but what you're gonna feel is that pressure kind of coming off that support foot uh, more and more. As this progresses, we're gonna work on more advanced drills like the scissor balance drill or the partner assisted balance. These skills need to come out of a really nice foundation of, of good proper alignment, and this is where you're gonna start. So try this, videotape yourself, make sure that you're doing everything right, really focus on that midline, that tends to be where things go wrong, and, uh, and hopefully you'll start to see some progress in your handstand. Have a good one, guys.